Hey guys, so so I'm going to be really annoying right now and talk about the new year. And I'm not going to talk about resolutions because those just seem short term. We're going to talk about goals, um, even though I'm a bit apprehensive to even do that. Because statistically, the majority of us don't stay true to those goals, right? Our old habits and our old behaviors creep back in and we're, we're left back where we started. However, there are only so many opportunities throughout the year where we actually have time to, to push the pause button, to stop right to be still and whether you're celebrating you know christmas uh, hanukkah there's there's just a bit more space and time from our day-to-day -day obligations to really think about life so we have to take the opportunity and push pause um, and after you push pause here's what you want to do you sit you sit and then you reflect and you think about okay how has the past year gone where have i been over the past year the past five years the past 10 years what are the things that have happened? What have I done well? Like, what's going really well for me? Think about it. And in that moment, really kind of celebrate your successes. Be aware of what your challenges were. What were my challenges? How did I deal with those challenges? What could I have done differently? Identify what you can do differently. And just write it down. Think about it. Write it down. Um, and then after you've reflected, right, after you've thought about all the great things and all the challenges and things you could have done differently, sit in the present moment. Sit right where you are. Don't do anything. And just think about where you're at. Think about who you are. And that's it. Who are you in this very moment? Where are you? Physically, mentally, emotionally? Put some thought into that and have a very honest conversation with yourself. Who are you right now? And where are you? After that, after you've connected with the moment, this is where the exciting part happens. You get to think about the future. And not in a, in a, in a fearful way, in an excited way. However, in the process of setting a goal, thinking about the future, we have to remember two things, reality and expectations. If you're setting a goal for yourself, you need to make sure that reality and expectations are on the same team. They're running parallel. Do not let them run perpendicular. Some bad things happen then, right? So if we've got reality and expectations going like this, in between that, we have a lot of pain and suffering. So allow reality and expectations to be on the same team, walking hand in hand on your journey, on your pursuit towards your goal. And then what happens is this, you look back six months later, 12 months later, and you think, wow, I made it over that first two weeks of the new year. <laughs> Most people failed. I kept going because you were real. You were honest with yourself. And I encourage this too in the process of setting a goal. Um, look at the small changes. Small changes are big, okay? So I hope you guys, you know, coming up with the new year coming up, um, that you have a moment to pause, reflect, sit with the moment, and then get excited about the future. Good luck, guys. You got this.